When you ask, what do Jewish people believe? There are a lot of Jews who believe a lot of different things. And many Jews who believe a lot of different things just by themselves. <laughs> because, we, because it's actually a religion that encourages questioning. So beyond what I just described is the Old Testament, beyond that is a whole series of discussions that's called the Talmud, which means the teachings or the learning or, or it's something, it means about learning. And the Talmud is like you would take two sentences here and the Talmud would do a whole book about the discussions between the rabbis of yesteryear about what that means. So for instance, when you talk about something like the afterlife, that it's different theories from different rabbis. One of the ways that we, that we come to understand is through stories and legends. And that's called Midrash, M-I-D-R-A-S-H, if you're, if you're writing it down. Um, and these are stories that help us understand the things that aren't specified in here. Another thing that people often want to know about Judaism is dietary laws. That there's something called kosher that has to do with how the animal is slaughtered. Um, it's supposed to be slaughtered in a um, painless way. And we don't mix meat and dairy if we're keeping kosher because there's a line in the Torah that says, do not boil a kid in its mother's milk. Yeah. They're all different patterns or they all it's it's just fashion. It's it's a sign of respect. Um, I personally wear it when I'm teaching sacred texts, when I'm leading worship services. I don't personally wear it all the time, like when I'm pumping gas, because that to me isn't as sacred yeah, yeah. A, an obligation. But there are some who, who wear it all the time. Some segments don't permit marriage between a Jewish person and a non-Jewish person. Um, in, my per in my synagogue, we have a lot of Jewish people who are married to non-Jewish people. And that's, you know, that's the modern world. Um, but it used to be that that was the way to keep, that, the, that by marrying within the faith was the way to keep, keep it going. My, my personal way has been to try and educate people so that if we have somebody who's Jewish who marries someone who isn't Jewish, and they come to the synagogue, I want them to feel comfortable. You can't really put um, all ancient laws into modern context. In the Torah, right after Moses recites the Ten Commandments, the children of Israel, then he starts going into other laws and rules and regulations. And the first series after the Ten Commandments is how to treat your slave. Yeah. Right, so, right, because in ancient times, slavery was an accepted thing. It was mostly about indebtedness, that, it, that if you owed money, then you became an indentured servant in order to pay off your debt. Toward me, not so much. Um, but I have sort of an ability to, to let it slide. I have a little bit in the area of um, the, uh, what his question was, have you encountered anti-Semitism, prejudice against Jewish people? Um, the most that I've personally encountered has been in the area of someone using an expression like um, Jew you down, which is an expression that, that is taken to mean that Jews are cheap. Um, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's not as common as it used to be. Um, and my response has usually just been, it's not an expression I care for. Um, I know people who have been victims. I know people who were beat up when they were kids years ago. It's not as prominent around here as much, but there is a lot of it in Europe. I, I was in Israel about six months ago. Uh, on a trip that was half rabbis and half Christian ministers. And we were meeting with Palestinians and we were meeting with Israelis and we were meeting with people who were trying to bring them together. And we were meeting with people who were intent on staying apart. And 
said, it's everybody's, you can't ever lump everyone into the same category. Um, they, there are people who very ignorantly send me sometimes anti-Muslim emails, assuming because I'm Jewish and a rabbi, that I would be anti-Muslim because there are Muslims and Jews in the Middle East who are fighting each other. And I very rarely respond to emails, but when I get an anti-Muslim email, I try and let the person know that there's Christians and Jews who do things that we wouldn't be proud of, and yes, there are Muslim people who do bad things, and I know Muslim, Muslim people who don't. You know, that that's, it's just so important, I think, to meet people as, as the human beings they are, rather than to categorize and lump people into one, one label.